Welcome to our second presentation on the Oregon Trail, this time using Google Earth. What I'm going to do is use some layering effects along with the path and some push pins to describe and talk about different areas. The objective here for this lesson is to familiarize yourself with how important the Oregon Trail is in actual Oregon and some of the elements played in there. So we'll have to point out, just with the brief mini quiz at the end, some at least three to five key points that we learned that how the Oregon Trail relates to Oregon and why it's so important. <coughs> so the first thing we have here is the Oregon Trail map. This is an overlaying effect that you can do with Google Earth where you just take a picture and you lay it over uh, your image. And so what I have here is an actual trail where it shows the path of all the way from Missouri all the way to Oregon. Then when we zoom in on the actual Oregon, I've created another layering effect to show that map of Oregon and where the trail is, is this brown part. But I've also created my own path that when I take away the map, it's still there. And I highlighted that in yellow so you can see how it stands out. Our focus is right here on the state, the ending point, and how it relates to us. Right now, we're in the Dalles, Oregon. And believe it or not, the settlers came and used the Columbia River that we take for granted every day. It's a piece of history. So let's zoom in on Wasco County and get close to the Dalles here. Takes a little bit of maneuvering. Got to know your counties and where you're going here. So we're here. We are in the Dalles, Oregon. Right here, you can see is the Columbia River, where many of the settlers use their wagon, and where they, which they turn into a raft to travel along. The main thing here is why would you use a river instead of using the wagon? Well. The wagon was made with wooden wheels, and eventually after the long haul, the wheels would windle down to almost nothing. So therefore, you have this contraption where you need a new set of wheels, or you could try to build something else with it. Hence, the raft. So they were just, and it so much less effort, because if your oxen or mule died, you couldn't push it anymore, and then the wheel, you just drift yourself down the Columbia River for your destination. So here's a couple of key points to pay close attention to. We have the Columbia River. Made a little icon over here with change it to a river mark. If you click on it, here's a picture of them traveling down. This is a transportation method and tool that they use. That's a key point. They use the Columbia River to travel. Another key point here is the end of the trail is an actual organ. Some people can argue this point. In Oregon, in this location, end of trail, Oregon Trail. It's an historic site. Then we have an actual wagon representation. Another key element is how these wheels are made of wood and steel. Some of them, mostly wood. This is like an upgraded, definitely upgraded version. <coughs> the whole structure is made out of wood. And then there's covered parts, which we talked about in the Google, Google Maps presentation. But another key element is to describe how the wagon is built what it's made of.
Two more other elements at least that I want to go over is the Oregon Trail. I used a little example here of the people. There's just a sign that talks about the Oregon Trail. This is nothing that you can do for the actual quiz, but I thought it was a great point of interest. It's great photography taken that there is a landmark throughout Oregon where it says that this was the Oregon Trail, what the settlers actually used to get here. Then here's an example of what they look like back then. Another element that you could talk about is what how they dressed. Based upon this picture, women are wearing skirts. Their faces are dirty. It took a long time to take a shower. The kids are relaxing. They're pulled off to the side. And they're taking a rest. The dad's in charge and he's taking a rest. So we've gone over some elements here by using Google Earth to represent the whole place. We have the Oregon Trail people picture, we have a sign picture, we have the Columbia River, picture of the wagon, the end of the trail. We're actually in the Dalles, Oregon, where we're representing the Columbia River which was used. So we're focusing in on Oregon. Some people wonder, or could wonder, why Oregon? Well, it was stated in the past that it had a reputation to having a perfect disease-free climate that could make it a breadbasket of the West. So many people wanted to go because it was free land, there was no disease there, it was just perfect weather, it was basically the dreamland, and they were going to do anything such as travel all the way almost across the country just to get there. Throughout this whole journey, there's many immigrants and travelers, missionaries, different people with different desires, but the overall main desire being free land with a perfect dream place. There was many deaths along the ways, there's many repairs needed, lack of food, lack of showering, clothing. You had to be creative in using fire pits and everything to cook your food because you didn't have a stove or if you brought one that's extra weight that you would have to calculate into your journey. So basically what I've done is use Google Earth to represent just the focus on Oregon and the destination, the end mark of the Oregon Trail. They've got other counties in Oregon as well, but since we are relating it to us, I focused on Wasco County in the Dalles area where the Columbia River goes through to discuss how Oregon relates to us. So as we zoom in here, we can see this Columbia River and it has definitely evolved throughout the years. We can zoom out. <clears throat> I believe I have a picture of the Luce and Clark Trail, which is said to be the leading start of why the Oregon Trail became popular. <clears throat> so here's a map back in 1985. Very hard to see, but it's an overlay of how the river has changed and it's kind of took a different shape. It's very fascinating to know that again we are a piece of history and this lake right here or this river sorry was once traveled by many people that wanted the land that we now live on that they did anything they could and literally dropped whatever they had to be involved in this free opportunity. It's so enticing to be able to start a new life in a new location that it was a, just a big desire. So I've named a lot of elements using Google Earth to show you as well as stating some and showing you some pinpoints of different icons that I've incorporated. So your job now is to list three, at least three of the main points that we talked about in Google Earth. Yeah. <laughs>
and you can list up to five for two extra credit points, which I strongly recommend. So Google Earth is a great way just to explore the land as a whole and to see the different elements that each have that you can zoom in to even see where a school or where a store is. There's just a lot to do. There's our high school track. There's a baseball field. We can even pinpoint our own school and where we are. But back in when the Oregon Trail was, there's no way this is it. So, if you would like, you may review this lesson and get ready for our mini quiz on the Oregon Trail and how it particularly relates to Oregon.